It's now a real space race for the Google Lunar X Prize. A colorful cup of joe is brewing over a Keurig. And who needs a Yule log when you can watch a Yule dog? This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. I'm Erin Aid, and top of the wire this week, the liftoff of a new space race. XPRIZE revealed on Business Wire that it's verified a launch contract secured by Moon Express. That means the private commercial space company is now the second team in contention to win the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. The X Prize is a global competition challenging private companies to place a robot on the moon by the end of 2017. To win, a team has to place a rover on the planet's surface, have it travel 500 meters, and then transmit HD video and images back to Earth. Moon Express is contracted with Rocket Lab USA to launch its micro lander in a 2017 mission. It will compete with Space IL, an Israeli nonprofit, plus any other team that secures a verified launch agreement. The story blasted off on social media. Our new V-Monitor recorded it reaching 2.5 million people in the first 24 hours. Another launch soared into Nuvi's top trenders this week. Lift off on the shoulders of Atlas. An astronomical number of people, more than 151 million, were reached with the news about orbital ATK's Cygnus spaceship. The unmanned spacecraft finally lifted off from Cape Canaveral after a three-day weather delay. It carried nearly four tons of cargo for the crew aboard the International Space Station and successfully berthed midweek. It will remain there for about 50 days. 117 million people were reached with all the news coming out of TechCrunch Disrupt London. About half of these social shares were focused on the startup battlefield. The annual event gives competitors a chance to pitch their startup to a panel of judges. Winner this year, Juke Deck. The platform is an artificial intelligence music composer that lets users create custom royalty-free soundtracks for their videos and podcasts. Juke Deck won the coveted Disrupt Cup, 30,000 pounds and all the attention and success that comes with it. Nuvi perked up and recorded 28 million people reached when Keurig Green Mountain revealed its Pantone Color of the Year Brewer. The new hue is named Serenity and Rose Quartz is the color of the new travel mug. The news was followed by an even bigger story that Keurig was being acquired and going private in a $13.9 billion deal. And more than 18 million music fans were reached when the Recording Academy announced the 58th annual Grammy nominations. Rapper Kendrick Lamar received 11 noms, followed by The Weeknd and Taylor Swift, who each earned seven nominations. The Grammys air February 15th on CBS. Virtual reality will be a reality at the 2016 Sundance Film Festival. VR studio and distributor Weaver says four of its immersive experiences have been selected for the festival's new Frontier program. Selections include The Blue, Encounter, which Weaver says gives you a face-to-face -face experience with the largest creature on the planet, an 80-foot blue whale with eyeballs the size of your head. On to some quick biz hits, Amazon is out with its newest Fire HD 8, a reader's edition. The tablet comes with a year of Kindle Unlimited, a leather cover, and a new display feature which limits blue wavelength light. Amazon says that it makes for more comfortable nighttime reading. Time is partnering with GumGum to offer its digital advertisers in-image ads. GumGum is a Santa Monica-based company that calls itself the inventor of in-image and in-screen ads. News spread quickly to the marketing crowd. Tweets by Ad Age and other outlets reached 2.6 million people. There's a hot new mobile app for transporting cold shipments. DHL just introduced LifeTrack. It's a free mobile app for the life sciences and healthcare industry that tracks and manages temperature controlled supply chains, also known as cold chains. DHL says LifeTrack will give customers an immediate overview of their shipments, temperatures, and any in transit issues. And finally, with Christmas almost here, you could turn on the Yule log or the Yule dog. How can you go wrong with puppies in Santa hats? I just don't know. They are so cute. Time Warner Cable is offering these little guys and kittens, too, in new holiday content. Customers can find them in the free Movies on Demand channel. Be sure to catch BizWire TV every Friday and the BizWire Accelerator Report on Sundays and check out more top news at any time on businesswire.com.